it's an epic battle between the go-getter, gotta get stuff done, Ken, Christmas is on its way, put together a plan of action and go do it, just do it, versus the, okay, I just got home, let the dogs out, took a nice shower, relaxed, I don't feel like doing anything else except going to the store, getting some dinner and relaxing. But still, in the back of my mind, there's a plan in place. How could that be? I don't know. Let's see how it works out. Dinner is in the bag, as well as some great gifts from my secret Santa tomorrow morning. But I have one more fun gift that I'm going to give on Thursday to my secret Santa, as well as a gift I'm going to give to all of my family and friends this year for Christmas. Something I've been working on. I kind of gave you a little bit of an idea of what it was earlier in the week, but now I'm going to show you a new spin on that idea that I discovered on Saturday after garage sailing. Let's go back to the house before the sun sets, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And just like that, back in the workspace, building some Christmas trees. If you guys know me, around Halloween I post a lot of stuff about Halloween, and I love Halloween. And to me, the iconic symbol of Halloween is the jack-o'-lantern. A few of these guys, this guy here, not that guy, he's store-bought, but this big guy right here, I made him, and this clever guy right here, and a few others that are floating around the garage. But I love jack-o'-lanterns as the symbol of Halloween, and I think equally a Christmas tree is my favorite symbol of Christmas time. And somebody had this awesome idea of building these trees out of nuts and bolts. And again, I can't claim ownership to the idea. I just borrowed it from somebody else, but I think it's very clever, very fun way to represent a Christmas tree and make something of your own out of raw materials. And then I mentioned I went to a garage sale on Saturday and I picked up two or three big bags of old car parts, old bolts and nuts and washers and came home and I built these guys. I think they're pretty cool. Very industrial. Very different. Not your traditional Christmas tree. But I had fun digging through an entire bag of old oily and rusty bolts and nuts and washers piecing together something unique and something different. So that's what I'm working on right here with these guys. Now I was planning on going to Michael's tonight or some other store to pick up some wire and some beads to string garland. Because you know, they look okay, but they need some garland. They need some dressing up. Then, while I was sitting and doing that, I'm thinking about this. This is a pile of jewel, um, silver that I bought many years ago at a garage sale. <clears throat> and this is probably a third of what I have. I have a bunch of antique spoons and forks. Some of them very ornate. Very nice. They're all from the mid-1800s through the early 1900s. And a lot of them are stamped on the back with the manufacturer, the maker, and the, and, and the year. Some of them I can't really see from where you're sitting, I imagine. But I'm kind of thinking about how I can repurpose these. I mean, that could be a Christmas tree. If cleverly repurposed, I don't know. What do you guys think? That's what I'm doing, playing with materials, looking at ideas, playing with ideas, tinkering, if you will, and asking you guys for your thoughts. Any thoughts, suggestions, you have any of this? If, if you haven't any of this kind of stuff, I'd love to hear it. And I'll come back later in the week when these are done to show you how I'm going to present them also as Christmas gifts. Okie dokie. Alright. I'm going to finish the Christmas tunes over here. Let's see what's on the old record player. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Bye.